We're starting this story at the end. It's one of those moments when you know that God has told you to do something and you completed the task. That is the most awesome feeling. It's like, wow. Now let's take you back four months to the day this task began. Hey, I could go ahead and make a little quilt out of this. Yvonne Lewis is spearheading the Oklahoma Angels quilt. This quilt has been in the making for at least 10 years. It's finally possible because of volunteers like Barbara. I do a lot better with my hands than I do with my head sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Happily sewing together fabric blocks of bright colors that represent a very dark and heartbreaking topic. Each block represents a child who died from abuse or neglect in 1995. Among the 35 names, there's only one face. Our picture of him that's going to be the center block of the quilt. Two-year-old Ryan Luke. Ryan is the reason this quilt is being made. His death has weighed heavily on Yvonne's heart for more than 20 years. Well, I was a mom. I had just become a mom. Hunter was born in 1994. Ryan was killed in 1995. Ryan's final hours were spent at the office of McAllister's newspaper. He, he called his grandpa, Puppy, Puppy, he said, Puppy, I love you. His grandpa, the newspaper's editor, and Ryan's mother both served time for Ryan's death and were later released from jail. The quilt is now receiving its final stitches. Tommy carefully leaving Ryan's smiling face untouched. Now seeing the Oklahoma Angels quilt nearly completed. I can't, I can't express it. I mean, this has been 10 years. And then it comes this way, because this is the back. But the I'm Oklahoma Angels this. quilt is now being These publicly displayed, starting in the town where Ryan was killed. And there it is. Inside the courthouse that decided his abuser's fate. And so the goal here is for people who suspect it to report it anonymously to the DHS child abuse hotline. Yvonne pointed out that God has given us an innate ability to sense when things just aren't right. There probably will be people watching this story and they will feel bumps as something is being said. That's the presence of the Holy Spirit. That's God at work and that's God saying, pay attention. It's doing what we're called to do. For Yvonne, it's hearing the cries of abused children and giving them a voice. And this would have been your 23rd birthday. And I wonder what you would have become. Yvonne is now sharing Ryan's story and taking the quilt around the state. There are 35 other children who died the same year that Ryan Luke died. It's her way of trying to prevent needless deaths from continuing to happen by reminding us why it's so important to report abuse. I could not live with myself if I did nothing, if I sat back and did nothing and someone lost their life because of my inaction. That's what drives me. That's what's driving this project and that's what drives my life.